Mayor Denise Pua, Mayor of Central Singapore District and Chairman of the Council. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to everybody. I'm very happy to join all of you to welcome the district councillors who will be appointed in a few minutes' time. At the previous council appointment ceremony three years ago, we were unable to meet physically because of COVID. But I'm glad today we can gather everyone here to celebrate the good work done by the CDC and the district councillors. CDCs, as you've heard from the mayor, are like regional officers and play a vital role at the district level. You work closely with grassroots divisions and social service agencies to aggregate residents' needs, A for aggregate. You build resources, capabilities, and competencies so that we have strong volunteer and donor networks to work with. So B for build. And you connect needs and resources together and also serve as a bridge between residents and the government. So C for connect. And this mission to aggregate, build, and connect, or ABC, it may sound simple, but in fact, a lot of hard work goes on behind the scenes to bring the community together, to care for the vulnerable and the elderly and the needy, to help residents upskill and stay relevant, and to push national priorities. And these are the responsibilities of the district councillors who will be appointed here today. The past few years have certainly been busy years for the CDC. I'm glad to see how our councillors, our volunteers and partners have come together and introduced many impactful programs to help residents live the better life, whether physically, financially, socio-emotionally, in terms of lifelong learning or in service to others. Many of these are initiatives to support the less privileged. For example, the CDC partnered UOB to introduce the My Digital Bootcamp program and partnered Starhub to launch the Junior Stars program. And close to 10,000 children from disadvantaged backgrounds now have greater access to learning opportunities and are picking up future-ready mindsets. Under the give and take markets, over 50 partners have contributed essential items and services so that more than 3,500 vulnerable families with school-going children in Jalan Besar GRC can shop for free and lighten their cost of living. Under the Silver Homes program, the CDC's partners help to improve the living conditions in senior citizens' homes. Central CDC also furthered meaningful causes in your district. Central organized sustainability workshops to foster a better environment. I've participated in some of these workshops with my residents in Tiggy Division. And last year, I was also very happy to join the 10th Purple Parade, which strengthens our culture of inclusivity and makes for a nation where everyone has a place, regardless of his or her abilities. Central CDC has also helped to push national initiatives. Singaporeans are very familiar with the CDC voucher scheme. The scheme has helped over a million households to defray the cost of living since 2020, while also supporting our heartland merchants. The Skills Future movement has also picked up momentum. And since 2017, Central CDC has conducted more than 800 Skills Future Advice Workshops, reaching out to more than 44,000 residents. So our five CDCs will continue their work to build communities and address the needs of residents and communities. As Denise shared, an average of 650,000 participants in Central attended or were helped by CDC programs over the last three years. With the spirit and energy of our volunteers and Mayor Denise's active leadership, as well as support from our partners like Far East Organization, Star Hub, the Masik Foundation, UOB, and many others, I'm confident that you will continue to build a better life for your residents. So to the 64 district councillors here today, I applaud you 
for stepping forward and taking the lead in our community. I hope to hear inspiring stories of your time in the Council, and I wish you all every success for your new term ahead. So congratulations to Central Singapore CDC's 11th Council. Thank you very much.